Welcome back, welcome back any and all. No, this is not a regular reading or anything like that. This is a warning. It is a warning. When the Lord give me something to say, I'll come right on, being obedient. And what is the message today? Your children. We know that America is trying to find a way, always finding a way to um, get at the children. Well, they're trying to make the all the schools go remote which means that digital learning, you know what I'm saying? Remote learning, they call it. Well, I say, not me, but the Lord said, homeschool your children. Stop making excuses because you're going to be held accountable. Homeschool those children. Make those sacrifices that you need to do, but you are responsible for raising those children up in the way that the Lord tell you to. And if he sends out his messages and warn you about something, then pay attention and take heed. Homeschool those children, whatever it means necessary, because what happened in here is now they're telling you to remote your children, right? They're going to close the schools and make sure that your children stay home. But here go my thing. Don't allow them to decide what kind of learning they're going to get. In other words, all the stuff, those agendas and so forth, they're pushing on your children, you don't need to accept them. Homeschool them. All they need is reading, writing, and arithmetic. Go back old school. All this stuff they've given these kids today have nothing to confuse them anyway. Okay, and now you got, uh, what, Zuckerberg, who's supposed to be making these um, virtual glasses specifically for the kids for school? Are you kidding me? Y'all don't see all the damage that's being done with all this so-called, quote-unquote, smart technology? If they, uh, if they gave y'all glasses, and you went and purchased glasses, and you find out that them glasses failed, or they had um, errors going on with them, and that was done on purpose, by the way. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, to them glasses that you went outside, even though the Lord said don't go, a lot of you went out and you watched the sun, watched up, you know, up in the sky, supposedly for the eclipse, when you shouldn't have been watching it to begin with. Not only that, every time you do something, you sacrifice the children. So you put them out there, and they sound out the glasses were not the real thing, deceptive. Okay, there you go. So you, what were you looking at? And what did you, what did you take into your spirit? What is in your or in you that you're not aware of that you picked up from watching that? You don't know? You better repent and turn and you better repent and beg the Lord for forgiveness for this foolishness. Every time he looks for you to trust in him, you go and you go look to man. And you do and you follow the crowd. That what, you know if you're following the mass, the majority of the time you're going the wrong way anyway, don't you? When the Lord says something to you, why must you despise prophecy? Why, when the Lord is tugging at you and telling you don't do something, you do it anyway? You remind when Paul used to say, the good that I should do, I don't do. And what I don't do, I should, I do. That I don't do, I, I do. You know, I'm um, paraphrasing, but you know what I'm saying. The, the good that he should do, he won't do it. And what he shouldn't do, that he do. You understand? That's what's going on. And the, your, the Lord said this is a rebellious generation. It is. A generation of vipers. You understand why the Lord got to keep warning you and telling you things and you don't take heed? Judgment is coming upon the world because the world is not listening. When the Lord says, don't do something and trust me, you go the other way. Okay? So, so I'm just telling you now. They're going to make these virtual things. He's making these virtual things supposedly for your children. Don't buy that for your children. Stop putting on everything that this world gives you for your children. Let them stay off of your children. Train those children up in the word of God. Train them children up in the way that they should go. And you're responsible for them. So every time you give them all this modern technology, including all these video games, I know people say, well, video games ain't nothing. Well, I'm telling you, there's a lot of demonic. I watch people train. I watch people's children change when they get to play them games. How evil they become, how uh, competitive they become, to the point that they hurt people if they don't give them the control and stuff like that. People have lost their lives over a control. Over the control, you know, like, I oh, you get the, the control and he didn't give it to me. When I ask for it, and they kill him and all that and stab him up and all. You know, this kind of foolishness is going on. Okay? We are living in the last days. Get your mind off of everything that's around you and begin to pray. Teach those children to pray. Cover your homes. Anoint your children. You better have a fear of the Lord in you and you better have it in your children as well. Especially these little ones. Because I'm going to tell you something that people don't understand. You train these children up in a way that they should go, as the Lord tell you, or you train them up in a way of the heathen. Because, you know, when you don't serve the Lord, you're serving the devil. I'm just telling you the truth because I love you. We are in the last days and people still playing games. What are you playing games for? Why are you playing games? 
If you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? You can't be saved by any other. We all know that. You cannot, you cannot be saved by any other. It's only Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As the Lord said, my Father and I am one. That's another thing. Stop saying that Jesus is not God. Manifested in the flesh. Okay? Well, I want, we know God, but um, I don't believe in Jesus because we don't need a mediator. You're, the devil is a lie and the truth ain't in him. You stop spreading that garbage, that doctrines of devils. You do need Jesus. You cannot make it to God without him. Okay? Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. God is the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit dwells within. And that's who dwells within, dwells within us. If you seek him. If you seek him in sincerity and truth. Okay? And you, can, and you do his will that he asks you. Keep his commandments. His commandments ain't grievous. But I tell you what. Keep all in your own understanding. And every time the crowd got something going on or the government got something going on, y'all keep running. Keep running with the wind. Because that's what you're doing. But I'm going to tell you this. Go ahead and, and let them tell you, oh, we're going to get this for the kids, for the headset. Go and run and buy it. Go and run and buy it. Because you're waiting to meet your doom anyway. It ain't like you want the Lord. If you don't want the Lord, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for this Antichrist to come on the scene so you can say, oh, that's the Lord. Remember he said, they're going to say, Christ is here, Christ is there. Go not there. But guess what? You're going to run. Just like you ran for, the, for that uh, soul eclipse. Quote, unquote, soul eclipse. Just like you ran for the, yeah, the COVID-19. Yes, you did. Because everybody's bragging and carrying on. You ran. You need to repent and cry out to the Father and tell him to heal you and to forgive you for not trusting him. Okay, that's all I have to say. I'm telling to you. I know you might feel a little kind of way, and that's okay. Because I'm telling you the truth. So the truth shall set you free. And whomever the Son sets free is free indeed. You're walking around the fence. Remember the Lord said, if you're offended, woe unto those that are offended by him. Okay? I love you all to love the Lord. You'll have yourself a beautiful blessed day. Children of all ages, youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. We are in the last days. Judgment is upon America. Judgment is upon the world because they refuse to repent and refuse to serve the Lord. In sincerity and truth. I love you all to love the Lord. Have a blessed day. Youngest to oldest alike, God bless you.